A self-priming centrifugal pump can only prime effectively if the pressure inside the pump drops below the pressure outside the pump. Resolving a failure to prime or loss of prime becomes a straightforward task once the cause is identified. Here are a few potential causes. If an air leak exists in the suction line, external pressure bleeds into the pump. Due to the lack of differential pressure between the pump's interior and exterior, the pump is unable to prime. The vacuum gauge helps detect an air leak in the suction line. A zero reading suggests that ambient atmospheric pressure is in the suction line, thereby diminishing the differential pressure necessary to sustain the static lift. Sealing the air leak allows differential pressure to build and enables the pump to prime. A loss of prime can also be identified when the vacuum gauge reads zero. This can be caused by a flap valve that fails to seat correctly. This issue allows the internal and external pressures to equalize. As a result, the suction pipe loses its vacuum, causing the water to flow back into the tank. Replacing a worn or damaged suction flap valve and cleaning the valve seat can fix this issue. If debris is present, simply clearing it will restore the valve's functionality. Partial or complete prime can be lost when the pump stops and the water in the suction line contains a significant amount of entrained air. Proper suction line submergence and the entrance velocity of the water will eliminate vortexing. Excessive face clearance between the impeller and the wear plate is another condition that can lead to priming issues. The greater the face clearance, the less vacuum the pump can produce. Consult the pump's manual for recommended clearance. Worn wear plates should be replaced. Debris blocking the eye of the impeller can severely impact the ability to create a vacuum and thus cause failure to prime. If the impeller is damaged due to cavitation or other means, the pump will not produce the vacuum needed to prime. Reference our pump performance curve for specific priming data. And lastly, because vacuum strength is a function of impeller speed, slower impeller speeds can result in a failure to prime.